Good morning and welcome back to Fresh. I'm Julie DeLorenzo, your host for this segment, of course, which is brought to you in part by the Elkhart County Living Magazine. And we're going to talk today about breakfast foods, lunch foods, um, how there are still places in the area to eat uh, affordably during this economic strife that we're in. But I want to remind you folks, if you haven't gone out and gotten the Elkhart County Living Magazine, you might want to go to the website at www.maplecitymedia.com. You can take a look at the magazine there to see if it's something you would like to purchase. It's only $12 for a year's subscription. It's a bi-monthly magazine. Inside there is a calendar of events. There's um, informational uh, articles about recipes and how to live more green in your home. And of course, um, just celebrating what's going on in the Michiana area within a day's drive. So make sure you stop by and pick one up at the uh, Goshen News or go online and view it yourself. Well, we're here with Tim Hoosier, and he is the, uh, I guess, owner or part owner of the uh, County Seat Restaurant. And we're here in Goshen on the corner of Jefferson and 3rd. Folks, this has been around for 25 years. You just celebrated your 25th year. Yesterday was our 25th anniversary. So as far as family, was it your grandparents, your parents that started the place? No, my parents, my dad and mom bought the restaurant in 1984. Okay, and I hear, understand that the little area that we're in right now, which is kind of like the, the, the main dining room or the original dining room, this is, this is all it was. Right, right. Um, and then, of course, you've built on how many times uh, past this wall? Um, shortly after we bought the business, we bought the building, and we added on and we modeled four times. Four times. And I noticed as I kind of took a look around, there are um, min like three or four dining rooms. There's even an area towards the back that if people are interested in having maybe a lunch meeting or some kind of a private meeting, that would be available. Uh, yes, that's right. We have a table that seats about 15 and it's in its own room. That makes it nice. I know one of the things that the County Living Magazine talks about is business lunches and how people are looking for places where they can maybe have an inexpensive but place to meet for lunch, and this would be a great place. Yes, we have several standing reservations that are, you know, the city comes in on Tuesday mornings and different, different groups have standing reservations. Now, was it always the concept of a breakfast place, or have you always been breakfast and lunch, which is what you're open for right now? Oh, no, we've always been breakfast and lunch. Do you do daily specials, like, you know, or certain days of the week you have certain specials? We have daily specials. Uh, our breakfast special is the same for each day of the week, um, but the lunch special, it varies. Well, I noticed some great looking pies behind me a little bit earlier. Are those homemade or? Yes, yes, our pies, we bake fresh every morning. Well, um, some other things I wanted to tell the folks is that, you know, like, what are your hours? Um, are you open every day of the week? That sort of thing. Okay. We are open from 4.30 to 2, Monday to Friday, and then 5.30 to 11 on Saturday. What would you say is, like, one of the specialties or something that people just always order that you guys are kind of known for? Uh, we have the Fritz special, which is scrambled eggs, potatoes, and sausage all scrambled together. And it's kind of our claim to fame. Now, do you still participate as a cook, or do you just kind of oversee the business, or what would you, what would your position be here at the county seat? Uh, I I cook every day, and I just the gentleman behind the grill right now today is his first day, and hopefully he'll be able to take over for me, so I don't have to be stuck behind the grill every day. So, did you start cooking here as a kid with your family? Um, not cooking. I actually got trained to cook at a different restaurant and I managed a couple restaurants before I came back here and bought the restaurant for my family. Um, but no, I, I bust tables and I wash dishes for the past 25 years so I've always been running around here. Well, you've got the uh, experience and the knowledge and of course just celebrating 25 years. Did you ever think it would last this long? Um, I didn't really think much about it gr growing up, but no, mom said several times that she didn't think it would last this long. Well, it's nice that it's been able to be handed down to you, and you can probably appreciate the business that the family developed over the last years. Uh, yes, I do. Uh, a, lot of their, a lot of our customers I grew up with, so it's kind of like home, and it just was a natural transaction. Well, it sounds like it is a uh, familiar place to come, kind of like you come in and everybody knows your name. If you don't know their name, you're probably going to know Tim's name. So make sure you come by the county seat. Of course, they're open at 4.30 in the morning. Kudos to that. But they close at 2, but breakfast uh, and lunch is available here and um, very reasonable prices and daily specials. So make sure you come by and check them out here at the county seat. Stay tuned. We'll be back in a moment after this short break.